Hey guys. Um, okay, so obviously this is a different kind of video for me. I'm upstairs in my craft room, junk room, <laughs> right now. Um, packing up my holiday giveaway box. I didn't really know where else to um, kind of rant to you guys. Um, so there's been something on my mind today. Um, there was an Instagram post that I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I wanted to maybe clear up some things as far as... Um, YouTubers, I don't know about Instagrammers. I feel like I'm a YouTuber more than I'm an Instagrammer. Um, and demos and reviews and things like that. And um, maybe PR from indie companies because I do, I get this much, a little bit, this a little bit. Um, I do get a little PR from indie companies. And um, how that works is, for me, how that's worked for me is when I started my... Um, YouTube channel. My intent was why I started my channel. If you read my little about me or bio or whatever it's called on my channel, it was um, to kind of just do something for myself to learn about new things, to um, just kind of just educate myself and learn new skills and just kind of, um, you know, as my kids are getting older, just kind of have some things, have something that's mine and something to be proud of and yada, yada, yada. All that soul-fulfilling crap. <laughs> um, and I loved all this stuff, so I was like, you know, wanted to show everybody. I didn't know exactly how all the YouTube stuff worked. I was fortunate enough to reach out to somebody um, and ask them a bunch of questions or I'd probably feel like a real idiot um, as far as ordering from all these companies goes um helped me out a lot in the beginning to kind of know exactly how the youtube indie vendor relationship works so i buy almost almost all of my products i reach out to companies a lot of times i don't even tell them who i am i just order like a normal person because i just buy what i want to use and i just put it on my channel to show you guys that's how it started that's what I do now. That's how I keep my reviews honest. I don't know. I wouldn't know how to do it any other way. Um, I think that's maybe the appeal. If, if people do like my channel, they think I'm pretty honest because, um, I don't know, maybe it just comes across that way because it's true. Um, the companies, some people, some companies do um, send out a little PR. I've had a handful of companies do that. I have had more than that, um, more than a handful of companies reach out to me. The thing about that is, is I can't do any more than I do. Um, I like to purchase my stuff because I want to do what I want to do. I want to have control over my channel. I want to... Um, I told you guys I'm a cherry picker. I want to get the products in that I want to show you guys. I want to get the products in from the companies that I think you guys will want to see. They're the ones that I want to use. They're the thing. They're the ones that I think will make my channel awesome. Um, I want to support small businesses, so I don't want to just do YouTube and have people send me free stuff. That's not the way it works. You don't start a YouTube channel and then go to companies and say, Hey, I want to demo you. Do you want me to demo your stuff? I want to demo your stuff. I want to demo your stuff and put it on my channel. It doesn't work that way. Um, that's their hard earned money, that's their hard work. If they want to send you something to promote their company and they have a marketing budget where they have allotted that money to go for marketing and they want to put it into a micro influencer then that's their choice and they will contact you if you've worked hard enough on your channel and they already watch you and like you and believe that you could help them they will contact you and that's just the way it is that way there's a mutual benefit and and that's the only way that it works if there's a mutual benefit and then that may even happen once, and it may not happen again. Um, that's just it. That's how it works for me. So when there are a lot of people who don't have a following, they don't have um, 
the the background or the skills and they just go ask and all these companies like they are owed because they have signed up for a channel or because they say they're going to do something. I had one company I said I would like to put your products on my channel. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. I'd like to purchase from you and is it okay if I put your stuff on my channel? And they said sure and they let me purchase from them and they said pretty much she's one of one of my favorite um vendors now she said she pretty much said yeah believe it when i see it though i've sent out previously a bunch of pr hundreds of dollars worth of pr and i've never gotten one demo and i felt terrible i felt terrible for that sweet lady i think she's awesome um i feel like we've got a good relationship now and i couldn't believe that she sent out free stuff and never got a demo back and that made me feel bad um for people that do what I do that they wouldn't respond to her and they got free stuff so it also makes me feel bad that all these indie vendors get hounded by people um, that want free stuff in return for their demos it doesn't work that way so I wanted to clear up at least how it is on this channel and for what it's worth that is what I was told what I was taught by um, the person that kind of mentored me in this um, area in the beginning and I just appreciate that so much and um, the youtubers that I watch that I admire I believe that they run their channels like I do and um, I believe that 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 those are the people that the vendors respect and if you run your channel like that I believe your channel will be successful too but I don't think that you will ever be successful as a micro influencer or have a good channel or um, a following if you don't respect the people that um, you know you're trying to promote. It doesn't doesn't even make sense to me. So I appreciate the Instagram post today. I just wanted to clarify that not all micro influencers, YouTubers, Instagrammers people who support small businesses via demos and reviews are like that. I know you guys know that, but um, maybe just wanted to clear that up. Also, when I do mention that I get a free box or a free bomb or something like that, I, f I do think that I have to disclose that um, on YouTube. So I'm not, um, I don't know if maybe some vendors maybe don't want you to mention that because then they do get hounded. Oh, you gave so-and-so a bomb. I need a bomb because I have that channel. I have a channel and you should send me something too. I think I have to disclose that. I think I do. Um, that's why I do. Um, like I said, I've, I've never made a dime with a coupon code. That doesn't work that way. That is for companies to track where their um, their clients are coming from. If, if they put in my coupon code, they know Old Mom New Tricks sent them to them. If they give get somebody else's coupon code, they know they know that uh, someone else referred them. It's just a referral code. That's all that is, at least from my knowledge. So um, it might work differently from someone who has over 100,000 subscribers or a million subscribers. It, that's how um, I learned and how I have read that that works. Just um, in case you think if you put in my coupon code, I'm not giving her a kickback because I watched her video. I've heard of that company before. It doesn't work like that. I earned back pennies off the hundreds of dollars I've spent on this stuff and I wouldn't change it and I'm still going to continue to do it because I love it and I think that it's awesome. I just I just love to do it. So anyway, I don't know if that clears anything up. I think that's just this video may have just been a total mistake to make, but um I don't know. I just felt like it needed to be said. I just appreciate you guys so much. I mean, I, I love this channel because I love to do this. I love the relationships I've made with the companies and the relationships I've made with you guys who watch and comment all the time. I just absolutely love it. So um, I expect the thumbs down. A lot of times I'm not clear. A lot of times people don't like what I have to say, but um, I just, I still, I love it. I appreciate all of you guys who, who watch me and like the demo. So thanks a lot, you guys, and I'll see you for the next demo. And real unboxing. I didn't really get anything packed. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.